Hey guys, Natalie Nelson here today dropping some knowledge on you. We're going to do a how to detangle short natural hair. We're going to cover all the tools to use and we're also going to go over one that helps to avoid having those drains clogged. So I'm just taking my hair down here. I had it braided for like about three weeks and we're going to go through the different tools. Now first we have the boar bristle brush, not the best to use because it is very coarse on natural hair. We also have a paddle brush here. You can get away if it's a looser texture but not on this hair girl. Then we also have a pick, eh, not the best because our hair is not detangled and it's very sharp. Mm -mm, just don't do it. And here we have a fine tooth code. The girl held to no, no, just don't do it, girl. Just don't. Mm -mm, it's too fine. It's going to break off your hair. So we do have three different combs here. And as you can see, these are all detangling combs. They're shower combs. They're all made of plastic. The edges are nicely rounded. They're not sharp and they are wide tooth. Now this is what you need to use to detangle your hair, girl. I also have this scalp massager here. As you can see, it's pretty much the same thing. Soft bristles, it's very wide, easy to detangle your hair. Now for this tutorial or any type of detangling, you are going to need clips. Of course, you're gonna need water and you're going to use your favorite conditioner. This one is by Cream of Nature. Now, of course, you guys know, just like it is second nature to all of us naturals, the key to having healthy hair is to work in sections. Yes, it takes a long time, but girl, if you actually wanna keep them hair follicles on your scalp, you better learn some patience, girl. So what I basically did is section off my hair. I'm gonna start with this uh, section right here. You wanna make sure that you're getting some moisture, so I'm just using some good old H2O is that's going to make my hair a little bit more pliable when I'm trying to section it and it's not going to cause a lot of damage. So as you guys can see, even within that section, I made it into a smaller section. And at this point, I'm going to go ahead and get some of my oils just to put on my hands to make sure that everything is a little bit more slippery. As you guys can see, just from me doing the finger detangling, you did see a couple of those hairs already come off on the comb and that's where the finger detangling, fingerling detangling, is that what I just said? No. Okay. Finger detangling is going to come in handy because those oils are going to coat your fingers and it is going to make the process smoother for you and less damaging once you finish with that section you're just going to twist it up and i'm just going to move on to the next one as you guys can see those ends are pretty much hanging on to their life to the shed hair and that's why it's really important to go in and just pretty much do the finger detangling as i was saying in that clip it's super easy and it comes off you can also do the prayer method as well that's where you just basically put your hair between your hands and you slide up but as you guys can see just doing that by itself it's so easy to get all that shed here off and I didn't have to do a lot of work. Now, once I'm finished with that section, I'm just going to take the comb. I'm just going to go through it all together in one big section. This is just going to make sure that I know everything is fully detangled and I'm ready to get this part out of the way. So I'm going to do the same thing for each and every part on my head. And after I did that, I basically take everything out. And this is just a quick little lunch check for you guys, just to show, you know, what I'm working with. She's been growing, you know, so I'm happy about that. Now, I know it looks like a lot, but don't be alarmed. On average, we shed about 100 to 125 hairs per day. And mind you, this is three weeks worth of shed hair. So imagine you going and washing your hair and all of that is getting in your drain. Not the best, right? This little product is known as the Tub Shroom. And it seriously has changed my life because it has helped me from not having to buy so many packages. Drano, all those drain snakes and all the rest of that crap. It's super easy to install. All you have to do is basically pop off the top of your drain cover if you have one and you just pop it in place. I was honestly skeptical as far as if it was going to work because I've seen little things like this, but I put it in and girl, look at that. The water went right down. Do you guys know me? Anytime I test a product, I always got to go all in. So I did put it through the wig test and I washed my natural hair, girl. I took this thing out and I was so surprised. It picked up all of my kinky curly hair and it even got the wig hair that was like a straight wavy. So it pretty much works on all hair types and you guys can see the cleanup is super easy. You just get a paper towel, take off the gunk, rinse Rinse it off and pop it back in place. And I know you guys are probably like, nah, it's too good to be true. It ain't going for my bathtub. Apparently, the updated Chrome Edition supports a 1.5 inch and a 1.75 bathtub. And it also comes with an extra anti-microbial and anti-mildew protection. No germies, girl. No germies. You guys know I'm frugal as all hell. So this product is only $13.95, girl. Get on Amazon and get you one. Nelsie put you on. But basically, guys, what I'm going to do here is pretty much deep condition my hair. Nothing crazy. I got a video up on it. I just wanted to show you guys some alternatives of what you can use to detangle your hair as far as how you can do it and not rip your hair out. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and make sure you turn on your notifications. I'm going to grab my little plastic bag because that's how I do. I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.